Uh, we're not going to be asking people to evacuate, but we will be asking people, should they feel the need to evacuate, they have shelter space to go to as a last resort. As you know, the first choice is always to seek shelter with family members or friends in areas where you feel they're safe. On the ocean safety side, we're going to see a lot of impacts on the ocean from this storm. Um, the direction it's headed and the velocity of the winds will definitely increase our surf. We did see a shark attack earlier this week, um, and you it may not be common knowledge that that was most likely associated with what has been transpiring. When we get a lot of rain and runoff into the water, we're flushing a lot of debris, and that does draw our sharks into the nearshore waters to feed. Um, oftentimes there's animal carcasses or other debris that they will be feeding on. So that's an, a, a hazard that's out there. So if we see brown water advisories coming from our clean water branch, that's part of it. So if it's brown, don't go in the water. Like that, you know, we're, we're usually kind of prepared. I usually already have a hurricane kit. I got like beef jerky and nuts and all kinds of stuff, um, spaghetti, noodles. We got stoves and my friends have generators. And so we didn't panic too much. We we're just more worried about damage, you know, so. Um, not so much flooding, but landslides. There's been a lot of problems with a lot of the um, storms lately is the landslides, especially on the, the tunnels going from the winter side to town. A lot of the landslides and stuff, so 